Hello guys, Rod here from Rod Kutarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and uh, Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading for February 11th to February 17th, uh, 2019. And uh, while I'm doing the shuffling, uh, I want to remind you again with disclaimer that this is a general reading for Pisces uh, star sign. And uh, for that reason, the reading is going to resonate in a different way with uh, every single different Pisces because you guys are different to one another and you, you deal with different situations really. And uh, then uh, I want to make a quick uh, channel update that uh, for the month of February, I have uh, reduced the pricings of all of my services uh, with considerable amounts. So to in an attempt to make myself uh, more accessible to those who are especially struggling financially. So if you tried to have a reading with me before and you went to my website and you found it very pricey and unacceptable to your budget, have a look now uh, for in the month of February and uh, maybe you're going to find this time around the service rather uh, accessible. So that set aside, Pisces, uh, let me cut uh, the deck here. And uh, the first card that we do have for you, which is about the topic of your week, that is going to be the Five of Swords, followed by a second card that is what you should not do throughout the week. Uh, this is the Hierophant, followed by the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation. Uh, that is the Seven of Swords. And the last card that we do have that is the final weekly outcome of growth should you follow uh, this, uh, this guidance here. Okay, so uh, once again, Five of Swords, Hierophant card, um, Seven of uh, Swords, and lastly, we do have the Two of Swords. All right, so I'm going to leave these cards for now at my desk because it's rather uncomfortable wafting, him, wafting them in the air, all of them. So a uh, pretty straightforward reading for you, uh, Pisces. It's uh, you're going to uh, flush out the, the manipulators and really the double-faced people into your uh, surrounding. Uh, now, as you are the last uh, star sign that I'm making the reading for, it's simply that uh, it, it seems, excuse me, that uh, for many star signs throughout the week, that is one way or another the general topic. I don't know what is going on in the sky. I'm not a uh, astrologer, but it's... Uh, Simply, you're, you, you are going to have enough here uh, from manipulators, from people who are uh, abusing your kindness, and so on and uh, so forth. And uh, uh, this week, it is where you're going to make a difference, uh, pretty much, and uh, showing to those people that uh, they, they simply can't get away with it any longer. Anyway, so going uh, directly to the first card, which is the topic of the week for you, that is the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords is a topic, it does point to um, your awareness that uh, either your, uh, your resources, your means or your power is abused by someone else. And also you will start becoming more and more aware that some people which are trying to present themselves as a, a very good friends of yours are actually having a, a double standard, leading double life. And uh, uh, as they are smiling at you, it is the same way they are talking behind your back as soon as you turn your back on them and you walk your, uh, and you walk your way uh, at home. With the Five of Swords, uh, this week you are going to differentiate uh, the um, the limits of your friendship, okay? So basically, uh, that week, uh, certain behaviors and uh, in generally certain connections are, are going to become no longer acceptable for you for the uh, reasons pointed above that, uh, you know, those... Um, 
basically you have been either used and uh, now that i'm looking at the other cards uh, that will be especially uh, accurate for those who lend money on people okay because uh, you could be lied about the reason why those money are needed or if you have lent money then uh, the um the payment will uh, or the person who you lend money to will try to uh, postpone the payment with some ridiculous excuses which are untrue at least according to those cards so yeah pretty much uh, there is a, a big chance that someone will attempt to lie to you and to abuse uh, your kind nature uh, but you are pretty much going to foresee that and uh, the only way that this person can get away with it if you basically show milder nature and say okay so big deal you know i will just allow him to get away with it but you shouldn't you definitely shouldn't with uh, the five of swords additionally to that the five of swords here also uh, are pointing that throughout the week really uh it is time for you to uh punish really punish punish i don't know if if i should use the word punish but more like uh, payback right payback those who did you wrong recently it's just what the card points okay so if you really holding up a grudge into someone um basically uh this card points that you will have the chance to do it should you do it that again depends on your decision the accompanied card here it is the uh queen of pentacles and really that the shade that adds to the five of swords it points that you you simply had enough just like i said at the start and uh, uh you cannot find any more room or means for forgiveness basically these are people who repeatedly betrayed your trust repeatedly abused your kindness but no longer i mean no longer throughout the week and this is going to be the topic the only thing that i'm really afraid for is that uh, once again that you that your nature could be way too milder to basically confront those people and tell them that you don't need them any longer around you, you know, you don't need such a, a surreptitious, double-sided and uh, slinky, really, and sneaky, um, so-called friends around you, which are only um, leeching out of you instead of, um, instead of proposing something in return in case they uh, kind of need your help and you have to be very decisive when you do so okay um, literally what the card points is that you shouldn't give them a chance uh, a third chance or a fourth chance they already ha they already had it with that queen of so uh, queen of uh, pentacles there they had probably their 10th chance and they ruined it they simply betrayed it so you shouldn't feel obliged at all to give them another one the uh, hierophant which is the second card here how you should not approach the situation it is that uh, exactly that you know trying to try to teach the, to teach to teach them uh, excuse me that what they did is wrong i mean they know that it is wrong guys they they are fully aware of it it's just because there are no um, there are no consequences for them. There is nothing stopping them doing it a for a thousand time. So pretty much that should end, especially with the hierophant. You are not a Mother Teresa. You should not help to the ungrateful people uh, in your life from those that you helped and they haven't told you even one thank you. Okay. Additionally to that, you need to recognize that uh, these are very um, uh, not misfortunate. I cannot find the right English word, excuse me, here. Uh, very um, despondent people. It's not, it's uh, kind of like pity, okay? People of pity, because it's simply 
I, I don't, I kind of find even words to explain it because the worst thing here with the Hierophant sitting into that direction, uh, into that position, excuse me, it is that they don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, for them, people of kindness are sheeps and they are wolves, okay? And so now it's time to show them that you are, you are ain't, you ain't a sheep, you ain't a wolf even. You are a damn lion, all right? And they cannot screw up with the lion in the, in, in the herd. They simply cannot. And so it is time to stop talking and start acting. And uh, the additional card here, which is the page of uh, cups, it's a little bit uh, tough to handle in this case because that card points here, we do have passive, uh, passive friends and that card points that you divide, that you will find yourself that you had developed some emotional connection with one of these people uh, probably you know you you happen to to help them with a very sensitive matter and uh, that made you feel for them just to find out throughout that week February 11 to February 17 that they doesn't feel even the slightest obligation for what you did, okay? And that's why you should stop focusing on the small details here, but rather open your eyes for the overview that these people simply ain't gonna change. It simply ain't gonna change. And you gotta put a stop to it. You gotta put an end to it. And uh, basically you need to uh, dispose from those uh, so-called friends which are occupying, uh, which are occupying the uh, ex uh, valuable spots or valuable places in your social circle that can be replaced with much more worthy companions. All right, so that was about what you should not do. So let's see now, uh, Pisces, what you should be your, your approach uh, toward the situation, the most productive approach here. Seven of Swords. What is the Seven of Swords? What, one standing for one's right. Simply the person here uh, figuring, figuring out that this is not his battle and uh, that person doesn't have any obligation whatsoever, takes what he's owed and walks away and, uh, uh, intact and walks away to chase their own goals. So what? Uh, so in translation, what you should do here is show a strong backbone, step for your rights, showing that you cannot be treated like this. You cannot be treated like you um, like you are obliged to face and fulfill everybody's uh, troubles without getting anything in return. And uh, also, you have to storm the situation. For example, if we go with um, <clears throat> that you have, you have lent money to someone and that person is trying to postpone the payment here with some ridiculous excuses, well, you got to show them or kind of like make make them aware that, that that simply cannot just go out unpunished and that you will even file a, a suitcase, uh, a suitcase, <laughs> oh my God, a, a, court, uh, a court suit, excuse me, a oh, suitcase, <laughs> oh my God, yeah, okay, a court suit uh, to, to find your money back and, uh, or to get your money back and just, they cannot get away with it. I mean, they gave you a time frame and they have to keep into that time frame. And additionally to that Pisces, you will also have to, uh, take the precautionary measures not to be lied again. So what that means is next time you try or find someone to be a friend with, test their loyalty, test as well their devotion and see if their code of conduit matches with yours. That is the most, the most important thing here with this card. Followed with the, um, or accompanied by the Wheel of Fortune uh, here, which uh, we do have active enemies. Well, uh, simply uh, the best situation uh, that's, uh, you can do that detachment or you can stand for your, uh, 
for your rights, you know, and storm your situation is going to present itself. I mean, uh, you will not even want to ask for any better situation than that. If you try to find a way how to confront that person, the way is going to be presented to you on its own accord. But again, you have to be determined enough to grasp on it and to really uh, capitalize on it so you can make it work all right so the opportunity will be there for you for example that person is gonna screw a big time all right and you got to basically catch the tide and uh, work your way through getting what you have been owned from them or owed from them excuse me and completely separating them from your future entirely okay so kind of like burning up the bridge with this surreptitious guy or a girl Okay, so, oh, and one more thing with these cards. If someone tries to steal from you or someone tries to lie to you throughout the week, you will immediately going to know about it. I mean, they are going to flush themselves out and uh, simply said, uh, your reaction needs to be immediate. It needs to be immediate and it shouldn't be milder at all, okay? It should be just according to how fat the lie was. So pretty much uh, that's about the positive approach and it does look like that you got to be aggressive toward those so-called friend of yours, all right? You, you, sh you, you need to show that basically they cannot simply get away with it any longer and that if they... Um, if you didn't uh, confront them about it uh, before, it was because you were giving them another chance, but you are fully aware of uh, their betrayal, if I may express it that way. And so lastly, for you Pisces, we do have the Two of Swords, which is the uh, outcome of growth, should you follow uh, this, um, this guidance. And, uh, and that situation, the Two of Swords has the most generic uh, interpretation, which is peace. Simply everything will fall back into equilibrium once again. I mean, the people that you are going to be surrounded with are going to be exactly those that you want to be, so, or exactly those who are going to be equal to you, okay? So if you lie to them, they are going to lie to you. If you don't lie to them, well, they ain't going to lie to you. And... Uh, with the two of swords, really, uh, that is in, 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 incapacitating of moving forth due a personal wish. So you will find uh, yourself, you will find for yourself unnecessary to expand on your friends at that point because with this card, you will be quite comfortable uh, with the friends that you are going to have after this purge of yours because you will not want to take the risk of uh, attracting or letting another liar in your in your social in your social circle excuse me and in your environment as well now that is completely normal and uh, with uh, this car you should give yourself as much time as you need in order to kind of emotionally heal yourself from the purge uh, because uh, with the two of swords the more time passes these criterias of uh, the your future friends or what kind of criterias you should have for your future friends are going to uh, kind of like shape themselves on their own accords you don't have to really uh, bang your head against the wall and scratch your brain about it um, instead you know just have fun with those who have left there into your social circle after the purge just don't overthink it this is what i am trying to say and uh, the additional card to it here uh, that will be the devil which forms passive uh, passive enemies and what the devil points first of all as a passive enemies is that uh, simply in your social circle there will be no longer uh, there will be no one left any longer that can be more powerful than you are 
manipulatively or simply in in presence nor you're going to be any more powerful than, than anybody else so once again we're talking about equilibrium here but the best thing that the devil here shows is that you will have no regret that you have established that perch maybe you can have that regret at the start okay because as i said that you are going to have some sort of an, an emotional connection and attachment to some of those people that you are to perch or that you should perch into your uh, social circle but as soon as the process is done you will be uh, you will have that self confidence and uh, conviction really that you did the right choice here you did the right thing and you basically got to move on with it and from there, I you I think that you will have learned your lesson with these cards and you will not allow anybody anymore to um abuse your kindness in such a in, in a such a way like these people did in the recent uh in the recent past. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading for February 11th to February 17th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, um, I want to give you that uh, channel update that the prices for e every service of mine are significantly reduced for a reason to make myself more accessible to the people who are struggling especially financially here so if you have uh, found you wanted a reading with me but when you went to my website you found it i am rather you know very expensive well have a look now uh, at the website which is listed down below in the description of this video and maybe this time around you're gonna find the pricing attractive rat signing out now see you around bye